And that is primarily because the second owner of this car, after less than 24 hours from its original sale date to the original owner, was the DEA. Immediately upon taking delivery, he does what anybody in the 80s would do. He filled it with drugs and he drove to Vegas. And so he's out blasting through the desert as we've done many, many times. And apparently along the way, he drew the attention of some law enforcement. So he was being tailed by multiple police officers most of the way to Vegas, but he was going so fast in the fastest car of the day. Again, this was faster than a Countach, faster than a Testarossa, and it was filled with all the accoutrement you might imagine of an 80s hammer. Eventually, he gets to his destination and stops. And a few minutes later, the cops catch up. They arrest him. Obviously, they search the car, they find some coke, they find some quaaludes, they find all the drugs, and they take possession and ownership of the car. 